Hey, uh, this this is a TVZ. You went mech, uh, three factory, then four, adding an armory, and eventually fifth factory. You got a reasonable income. Um, I would like to have seen a lot more workers than 47 at 12 minutes, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, and this first push, again, five is the magic number. I don't think you should be pushing with four tanks at all. Should have waited for at least one more, maybe a couple more than that. Um, but... You end up doing a nice, strong, awesome Marauder Hellion tank push, uh, and just kind of ripping him to shreds, and then he's just going to walk around behind you. Now look, right now your tanks should be shooting him, and they should be shooting him, and they should be shooting him. Like, why did you put your tanks in a position where they have no vision anywhere from that side? And so uh, this this was just kind of a, a, a rookie mistake. When you siege this this base, you want to siege it from right here, so that the only way he can approach you is through this choke or through this choke. Uh, you put your tanks here, and there's nothing you can do basically. Uh, on this map, this position where you put your tanks, I mean they're just all gonna die without getting any shots off. So that was just dumb luck. And so all, another thing to mention is this army. I mean, even though you probably can't kill these roaches, Hellions, they suck terribly in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Because one Hellion is 100 bucks and one Roach is 100 bucks, And it takes like three Hellions or four Hellions to kill a Roach. But in a, in a 20 versus 20 fight or a 15 versus 15 fight, as long as he's all bunched up like this, your Hellions can actually do a lot of splash. So what you want to do in, in a situation like this is grab your army and right-click this roach that's in the back, and then all of the splash is going to hit his whole army at once. And then you can just right-click this one and shift-click this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, whatever. Um, I mean, another option is to run away, but I'd really like to see you wait until the marauders are dead before you run away, because speed roaches are faster than unstamined marauders, and uh, especially on creep, you're just not going to get away. So what's the point in suiciding without doing some damage? So take some of the roaches with you is my point. Uh, after this, your your damage taken is is just huge and massive. And on top of that, he's got a third. And at 14 minutes, you're still not fully saturated on two bases, which is crazy. You should really be fully saturating uh, two base at a lot earlier. I guess you are just barely fully saturated. Uh, you have exactly one extra SCV. But, yeah, more workers quicker. Uh, and then he's just going to kind of walk in and kill you. So you're going to try to build your CZ in place at your third. I would never, ever build your third command center in place. I think we're on CZ. Um, yeah, just build your third back at your home and float it. It's no big deal. And, uh, to be at 15 or 16 minutes with no turrets and no Thors is kind of sad as well. Um, and just, you know, this all kind of came down to that first push's positioning. If he hadn't been able to just walk up behind your tanks, you would have won that fight easily. And you would have killed his third, and who knows what would have happened from there. So... Just kind of dumb luck. Uh, not dumb luck. Uh, you know, like those mistakes that was like, duh, I'll never make that mistake again. That's what this seemed like. Uh, as always, your mule energy got pretty high. Your upgrades started late and didn't really get pumping. Never make a second armory if you're not going to double pump upgrades. And when you're going mech, your entire army is gas based. You actually made three armories. Your entire army is all about your gas. Like, the, if you don't have enough tanks or you don't have enough Thors, you lose to either Roaches or Mutas, respectively. Uh, where so spending a ton of gas on upgrades is just going to mean that your army isn't big enough to kill him. I would uh, I would do single upgrades one at a time from one armory and not get three armories. <laughs> and just remember to keep up on them. Um. Yeah, that that is all, Daniel Sun. Notice how your minerals got really high and your gas was really low. That's because of the late third. You really want to be starting your third as you make your first push. And that first push should probably come between 10 and 13 minutes. Um, because minerals don't really help you a ton when you're mecking. Also, non-stimmed marauders are like the worst unit Terran has in TVZ. Even against roaches, the unit that marauders are specifically meant to counter 
Roaches beat Marauders dollar for dollar if they don't have stim. Marauders need stim and medevacs to be useful. Uh, so I'm okay with you pumping Marauders like this for the purpose of putting them in bunkers so that you don't die to Roaches. Uh, and it's okay then to take them out of the bunkers and bring them with you on this attack. I'm just saying don't make more than one Rax. And you didn't. I'm not saying you're making that mistake. I'm just saying that it's good that you didn't because, man, unupgraded Marauders are totally crap. Uh, and that is that, man. Some minor mistakes and one big positional snafu, and that was the end of the game.